Welcome and thank you for joining us. In this lesson I'm going to talk about Scanner and how to get your photos from the scanner into Photoshop Elements. I'm going to divide it into two parts. The first part is going to be the single photo and the second part is going to be three photos. Now, normally you would go to File, Get Photos and Videos from the Scanner. But before we do this, I want to do something more important than that. First go to Edit in the Windows. Preferences, General, or Control-K is a shortcut. Go to Scanner. I'm going to change this real quick. And this is your Scanner Settings. This is your Scanner Preference Settings the Photoshop Elements will use. Now, the photo that we're going to import is a restoration job. So if it's a restoration job, I'm sure you know that you need every piece of data that you can have. Now this is telling me that the scanner is my MG8200, fine, but it's going to save it as a JPEG and a medium quality. So I'm going to restore. I'm going to scan a photo and I'm going to restore it with a medium quality. That doesn't make any sense. I recommend if you're going to use JPEG, move it to the maximum and then one under, because anything that's the max, 90% uh, or 95% is just basically overhead. So if you go one under, it's the same thing, but you save on overhead space. But I use and I recommend using TIFF. You see there's no quality slider because you don't lose any data when you save as a TIFF. It saves the photo as is. And for a restoration job, that's important. Next it tells me where's my file going to be saved at. Well, all my scanned photos are going to go into Users, Test 1, Pictures, Adobe, Scan Photos. Yours will have a different location. If you don't like that location, click Browse and then change it. Once you're happy with those, Decisions, then click OK. Now go to File, Get Photos and Videos from Scanner. This will open up my Scanner dialog box. I click on Basic Mode because this is what I have for my Canon. I'll click on Preview. And this is the restoration job that I was talking about. You can see that the picture is not very faint, um, very yellowish, and if I wanted to just scan that photo I could just scan the photo and after it scans it will send it straight to Photoshop Elements. Done. Notice that um, Elements Organizer will give you a warning message which you can get rid of but, we, but I won't. Um, it just tells you basically I'm going to show you what you just imported. I'm not going to show you all your photos in the catalog, just what you imported. If you wanted to show all when you click show all, it will show you all the photos in the scan folder and the imported, but just in the scan folder. Okay, We only have one right now. Now this is great and all, but there's something that I, I want to tell you that most scanners have these days. So let's go back to file, get folders and videos from scanner, and let's click on advanced mode. Well, I guess it would be my advanced mode. Yours would be another name if it was, or if it is, excuse me. And what I like to use, I like to use my scanner to find solution for photos if I can. Instead of using Photoshop Elements or Photoshop, I mean, if I can have this solved in a scanner, why not do that first? And also, even if it's black and white, always scan in, in color. Because if you're doing restoration, at least you have three channels to work with. Instead of black and white, you just have one. Okay? Now, down here, I have what I call a histogram. And I usually will go through the channels, and I will move these sliders just before the image data, not on the image data because I don't want to lose any data when doing restoration. Bear with me for a second here. Go into the blue channel, the red, green, and the blue. We'll talk about this later. Okay, so I've changed the histogram in the red and the green. I also have my output resolution as 300 dpi. You can change it to 600 dpi if you wanted to for uh, better quality but you also notice that your fi uh, file size will double and then I click scan and this will send that same photo into Photoshop Elements guess what we only see the one we imported if we want to see both of them as we can see now we have both photos uh, when I click the show all and you can see the difference that scanner does you see how much time that's going to save me in Photoshop Elements or Photoshop it's unbelievable the details a little bit better, the colors a little bit better. Yeah, it's still a little red or pinkish, but it's going to be a lot easier to clean up than if I just did it like this. It can be done, but it will take longer. Now in the next lesson, I will show you how to do three photos.